when someone broke your heart and betrayed your trust. You were dating this guy, and you thought you had everything together, but then out of nowhere, he just broke up and leaves you, leaving you heartbroken and feeling betrayed. Now what? How do you move on from the situation? The best way to move on from this situation is to take some time for yourself and figure out what you want. You need to figure out if you want to continue seeing other people, or if you just want to focus on healing your heart. It can be tough, but it's important that you take the time you need to process everything and come to terms with what happened. When a loved one breaks your heart, it feels like the end of the world. Your mind races with questions and worries, wondering what you did wrong, how could this have happened, and what can you do to make things better? While your heart is in shambles, your mind is working overtime to come up with ways to make sure that person stays away from you. Unfortunately, sometimes that just isn't possible. In those cases, it's important to know what to do when a loved one breaks your heart. The first step is accepting that something has happened and that it's not your fault. You can't change what has happened and blaming yourself won't make anything better. Once you're done feeling guilty and upset, start dealing with the emotions that came with the betrayal. This might include sadness, anger, loneliness, or guilt. It's important to work through these feelings so that you don't continue to feel hurt by the person who broke your heart. If you find that you can't cope with the pain, it's important to talk to someone. Friends, family, or a therapist can all help you through this difficult time. It's also important to note that not everyone who breaks your heart will feel bad about it. In some cases, the person may not even know what they did wrong. While it might be hard to deal with, it's important to remember that not everyone deserves your love and support. If you find yourself struggling after a broken heart, there are some things that you can do to help ease the pain. Talking about what happened can be helpful, as can focusing on positive memories of the person who broke your heart. Alternatively, listening to music or reading can provide some distraction and help you to move on. Most importantly, remember that you are not alone. Many people experience a broken heart at some point in their lives, and there is support available. Reach out for help if you need it. Now, let's look at the stages of grief after a breakup. The stages of grief are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. The order in which these stages occur can vary depending on the person. However, most people go through all of the stages at some point in their grieving process. Denial. When a person first learns of their breakup, they may go through a stage of denial. They may not believe that the relationship is over and may try to cling to hope that it will get back together. This can be a difficult stage because it can make it even harder to accept the reality of the situation. Anger. Angry feelings may surface shortly after a breakup. People may feel frustration, resentment, and anger over what happened. They may lash out at friends and family members who were involved in the breakup. This can be a difficult phase because it can create more emotional turmoil than necessary. Bargaining. Some people bargain during their grieving process. They may try to bargain with fate or God for their relationship to get back together. They may also bargain with themselves about how much they should grieve and how they should move on. Bargaining can be helpful in some ways, but it can also lead to feeling trapped in the situation. Depression. After a breakup, many people find themselves struggling with depression. They may feel lost and sad all the time. They may have difficulty concentrating or sleeping. This is an extremely difficult stage and is oftentimes the longest of the stages. Acceptance. At some point, most people accept their breakup. They may realize that it is for the best and that they are better off without the person. They may also come to terms with their feelings and begin to heal. So, if you are going through a breakup, it's important to remember that you are not alone and that there is a process that you need to go through. However, with the support of friends and family, it can be a lot easier to get through this difficult time. I know it can be hard to move on after a betrayal, especially if the person who broke your heart was someone you trusted. Here are some tips on how to cope. 1. Talk to someone who can understand and support. Friends, family, or a therapist can all be great resources in processing the fallout of a betrayal. 2. Get involved in activities that make you happy and help take your mind off of the hurt. Working out, going for walks, reading books, or watching TV can help you distress and refocus on something positive. 3. Avoid dwelling on what went wrong. The more you focus on what went wrong, the more resentful and angry you'll feel. Instead, try to focus on what you can learn from the experience and move forward with caution. 4. Remember that not everyone who breaks your heart is worth your time and energy. Don't waste your time and energy wallowing in self-pity. There are plenty of other people out there who are worth your time and energy. 
Finally, remember that it's okay to cry. No matter how tough it might seem at first, eventually you'll start to feel better. Crying is a natural and healthy process that helps us release our emotions. If you ever need to talk about what happened, please don't hesitate to reach out. How to prevent betrayal in the first place. There are a few things you can do to help keep yourself safe from betrayal. First, be aware of your surroundings and who is around you. If someone seems shady or is making you feel uncomfortable, be sure to get away from them. Additionally, make sure that your conversations with others are private and that you don't share too much information. Also, be honest with yourself and never go into a relationship expecting something that cannot be given. If you follow these tips, you will reduce the chances of being betrayed in the future. If you do become betrayed, remember that it is not your fault. Betrayal is a very painful experience, and it is not something that should be taken lightly. If you are feeling upset or hurt, reach out to friends or family members who can offer support. What can you do to protect yourself from a cheater? If you've been hurt by a partner who has cheated on you, there are some things you can do to protect yourself from future heartache. Here are four tips to keep in mind. 1. Talk to someone about what happened. Talking about your feelings and reliving the experience can help you process and heal the wound. A friend, therapist, or family member can also provide support. 2. Be honest with yourself. If you focus on what was wrong with your partner rather than focusing on your own feelings, you may be less likely to take precautions in the future. Honesty is key in any relationship, but it's especially important when something like cheating happens. 3. Don't tolerate cheating. If your partner cheats on you repeatedly or commits other disrespectful behavior, it's time to end the relationship. Cheating destroys trust, and if that trust is broken, it's much harder to rebuild. 4. Make boundaries. It's natural for us to want to forgive and forget, but that doesn't mean our boundaries should be lowered indefinitely. Set clear limits on how far your partner can go before you respond negatively. This will help you protect yourself and maintain control in the relationship. If you've been hurt by a partner who has cheated on you, it's important to take the time to heal and get back on track. By following these tips, you can build a protective fence against future heartache. How can you recover from a cheating relationship? One of the most difficult things to go through in life is a cheating relationship. Whether your partner has cheated on you with someone else, or they have just been dishonest with you in general, it can be incredibly difficult to move on. There are a few things that you can do to help heal your heart and get back on track after a cheating relationship. The first step is to understand that this isn't your fault. While you may have been hurt by their actions, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything wrong and there's nothing that you can do to change what happened. The second step is to forgive yourself for being hurt by this. It's going to take a lot of courage, but forgiving yourself will help you move on from this experience. It will also help you avoid getting bitter or angry towards your partner, which will only make things hard. The final step is to talk about what happened with somebody who you trust. This doesn't have to be a therapist or a friend. Any trusted person will do. Talking about what happened can be incredibly helpful in terms of healing and moving on. I know it's been a tough few weeks for you. Your heart is broken, and you feel like there's no point in trying to go on with your life. All of your friends have abandoned you, and even the ones who still talk to you are distant and unhelpful. Everything feels like it's falling apart, and all you want is someone to tell you that everything will be alright. But they don't. They just give you sad looks and pat your hand while telling you that they're sorry. It seems like everyone in the world has turned against you, and all hope seems lost. But then, I'm here to encourage you. There is still hope. You may have been through a tough time, but it's not permanent. You can get through this, and you will be able to find happiness again. It may take some time, but I believe in you. Stay blessed.